Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at the newest release of XDix Linux. It is based on Ubuntu with the newest kernel 5.16 and in the deepened desktop environment. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you enjoy the channel and like the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are down below. Now, if you go to the XTix Linux website, which is xtix.se, I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. It's a pretty straightforward website. Up here, you've got about xtix. Contact, Download, Exton, Android, x86 Custom, How to Do Multi-Boot, and a USB Install. And then down here, they do have news and information about their releases. And this is the one we're covering right here, Xtix Deepin 22.1. It's live. It's based on the 20.3 Deepin desktop environment. It's got Skype, Spotify, Refract a Snapshot. And then over here, they've got recent posts, recent comments. You can set up and register with their website. You can just kind of get some different information about the release itself. So that is the Xtix Linux website. What we're going to do now is zip on over to the Xtix Linux desktop. Now, if you download Xtix Linux, throw it on a USB, open it up into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're going to be met with. First thing I kind of want to do is change some things up to my liking. First thing I want to do is take a look and see if I can change wallpaper right there. Let's pull that up, and I just want to go with something that's different. You can scroll through this by hand. What is that? That's a drone. You've got some cool, different-looking desktops. And I think I will go with something like, I kind of like that. Let's set it for both. And there we go. Next thing I want to do is zip over into settings and go ahead and switch it to a dark mode. And settings pops up. Let's go ahead and scroll down and see if we have personalization. There it is right there. Let's click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and go with a dark mode, and I think I will leave the accent color at blue. So let's go ahead and close that. And as you can see, with your Deepin desktop, you get a single panel down on the bottom. You've got your notifications over here, trash, date and time, power, keyboard. You've got your search. If you wanted to do a search, you just click on it. It pops up right here, and you can do your search right there from your desktop. And then, of course, you've got your little arrow right here. If you click it, it hides those other icons, battery, internet, sound, and your input window. I'm going to go ahead and minimize those down. If you come all the way over to the left, you do have an app launcher. It's got kind of your favorites over here on the left, and then you've got album, draw, you've got different things we'll go through here. Now, what I do like is out of the box, they kind of make it smaller. You can make it bigger if you want right here, but just clicking on those arrows. And then you go to a full screen mode like this, or you can come over here and actually categorize it. And then you've got internet, chat, music, video, graphics, office, development. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the grid and go ahead and minimize it back down for now because I want to concentrate on the dock in the middle. You've got your multitasking view right here if you have more than one window open. You've got your file manager. Let's go ahead and open up the file manager. Now, with XTix Linux, they actually give you two file managers. This is the Deepin file manager. As you can tell, it's got a really good look to it, polished looking on the icons right here. You've got your usual suspects over here, and then you've got your home directories right here, and then the disks that you have here. Should you plug any USBs or anything like that, they would be itemized down here, and you would have a separate section for those. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And they do have PC Man File Manager. And when you open it up, it gives you more of the classic look of a file manager. You got your usual suspects over here. And then, of course, you've got your home folders right here. And then you've got File, Edit, View, Bookmarks, Go, Tools, and Help. If you're somebody that wants a few more tools in your file manager, PC Man will definitely do that for you. I'm going to go ahead and close this. With it being based on Ubuntu, you do have Synaptic Package Manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And once it opens up, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and maximize it. You've got different categories over here. Everything from amateur radio all the way down to utilities, Lenovo, video. You can click on that. It'll show you different things right there. And then down at the bottom, you do have section, status, origin, custom filters, search results, architecture. You've got a lot of different ways here to find different applications or you can just go up and click on search put in something like obs studio let's go ahead and do a search for that and as you can see your search gets highlighted over here and then you've got obs studio right here now if you wanted to install that all you'd have to do is click in the box mark for installation 
and then it's going to give you a list of dependencies that need to be downloaded as well. You can go ahead and mark all of those for install. And then once you have those selected, just come up here, click apply, and it will install it to your system. So that's Synaptic Package Manager. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then back down to the bottom, you have a music app. And when it opens up, as you can see, it goes along with the theming of the desktop environment. That's one of the great things about Deepin is it does have a really integrated look and feel to it. Now, I do want to cover this. This isn't Deepin OS. This is the Deepin desktop environment. I know there are a lot of people out there that have heard things about Deepin OS because it's made in China and it does all kinds of telemetry and tracking and you have to check a EULA before you actually install it. This is just the desktop environment on top of x -Ticks. so you don't have to deal with all that telemetry that you're worried about or the security issues that might come if you're running the Deepin OS itself. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, and then we'll come back down. We'll go to settings in just a second. You've got Firefox, Refract a Snapshot, and when you open that up, this is a way to make a snapshot of your system. They give you a few different choices here. You can create a snapshot. You can re-squash and make an ISO copy. You can remake EFI files. You can rerun X or so only. You can set up a snapshot or you can exit. If you're wanting to make a snapshot of your system, this is a good place to come in and do it. Basically, what it's going to let you do is once you get it all set up the way you want it, zip on over here, create yourself a snapshot. Once that's created, should you have any problems in the future, you can zip back over here, restore from that snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. We've already looked at PC Man. Then you've got Screen Capture. You open that up, and it gives you the ability, as you can see, there's a little box that floats around here. You can just left-click and hold, highlight the area you want to take a screenshot of, let go, and then you can take the screenshot. You can record that part of the screen. It gives you a lot of different options here. It's a pretty powerful little tool for a screenshot or for a screen recording. So if you do download this and take it for a test drive, make sure you check that out. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Back down to the bottom. You've got SM Player. Let's take a peek at it. And it opens up, and this is just a player that lets you play videos and things like that that you've either downloaded or created. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then we do have the terminal. Let's go ahead and open that up. First thing I want to see, let's go ahead and maximize that, is if they have HTOP installed. And they do not, so let's see if they have top. And they do have it installed. At present, I have three gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. At rest, we're using about 1.4 gigabytes. Now, that seems a little heavy to me, but it most of the time when I'm running the Deepin environment, it is a little heavier than, let's say, your KDEs or your XFCEs, obviously, because it does have a lot of eye candy to it, especially if the window effects are on. But I have noticed that, that Deepin, out of all the ones that I do look at, seems to run a little bit more in RAM. So if you do install this, you're going to be hovering about one gig at rest with it installed, as opposed to the 1.4 that you're going to be showing or the 1.5 you'll be showing inside a virtual box for the simple fact that a lot of this operating system at present is running in RAM. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then we come back down to the bottom and last but not least is the App Store. And once it opens up, let's go ahead and maximize it. It's one of the better looking app stores that are out there in my honest opinion. Uh, some people may disagree, but if you want to argue with me, go ahead and put that in the comments below. Right off the bat, they give you what's called hot apps, which is your editor's choice. You've got OpenShot, GIMP, Qubit, Torrent, Stacer, MAME. There's just a lot of editor's choice right here a lot of your popular apps, and then it does have a scroll up here with other apps. Then you've got essential apps, and what they give you is what's called one-click installer. What you could do is you could come up here and you could say, I want Qubit Torrent, I want Vivaldi, I want GIMP, I want uh, Inkscape. You can just go through here with these apps. You want only Office, and figure out which ones you want. Once you have those selected, all you got to do is come up here and click install all, and it will install all of those applications for you all at once. So that way you don't have to do them one at a time. That's truly up to you. I kind of like doing them one at a time, but if you're wanting to get a lot of things done quickly, this is definitely a place to come and check that out. Then, of course, you've got all, and this is another place over here where you can just come through one at a time if you wanted, like WeChat. You could click install, GIMP, click install. And just kind of scroll down, find out what you want, and get it installed from there. And then, of course, updates. If you wanted to update your operating system, this is where you would come to update it. It would show you the apps that you have installed. 
And then at the same time, it would let you update those if there are available updates for those applications. And manage. This is where you'd come over here and it'll show you the installed apps that you have. If there's applications you have here that you don't want on your system anymore, you would just come over and let's say something like Spotify, you would just come over, click uninstall, then you'll be good to go. It'll take it off your system and it's not there anymore. So this is just another place to go if you want to add or remove software. So you get Synaptic Package Manager and you get this store. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, if we come over to the app launcher, let's open that up. Let's go ahead and go all the way up. And you can kind of take a look at some of the applications you have. You've got Draw. You've got Simple Scan. You've got Voice Notes. You've got your Terminal, Trash, Bookmaker, Log Viewer, Welcome, Archive Manager, Font Manager, Package Installer. Let's go to the next page. Then you're going to have Desktop Preferences, Graphics Driver Manager, Print Settings, Partition, Leaf Pad, uh, Browser, MPV Player. Now, if you go back over here, you've got a Control Center. Let's open that up. And your Control Center is like your settings. What this gives you right here is everything from your accounts all the way to general settings. Let's say you click on something like Personalization. You come over here, it gives you the same selections over here. Okay, you've got your accounts, Deepen ID, Display, Default Applications personalization, you can change your icon theme, cursor theme, your font, then you've got network, notification, sound, it shows updates, systems up to date, system info, and then general settings. So just a nice way to kind of control your operating system and customize it to make it look the way you want to. So let's close out of that and then come back over to your app launcher. That was control center and then that was pretty much it. So that is pretty much a look at x Linux, the newest release with the Deepin desktop environment. It's a very good-looking desktop, and x is a real solid distro. I really don't think that x gets enough credit for what it does. I mean, it's a really solid operating system. Let me know what you think. Is this something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine, and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the content that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.